What's up guys, we are here in the desert today. I'm excited to make this video for two reasons. Number one, red rocks, red rocks plus snow. Number two is the whole premise behind this video, which is how we travel on a budget. This trip is only costing us $50, $50. Since we moved to Utah, we've been massive fans of taking day trips. We are in the land of opportunity for adventure. So if you're here for the how we travel on a budget, that's basically what we do. But over the past three years, we've kind of created a little bit of a formula and I've broken it down into three bullet points. One, food. Two, gear. Three, time. Food is pretty simple. I'm sure we've made videos about this before. In summary, just bring your own food, bring a cooler, you save a ton of money, and you save a lot of years on your life because McDonald's is bad for you. But I'll let James go into detail since he has recently become gluten-free. He's back there. James, go. Hi. So I've gone gluten and dairy-free, also grain-free right now. I've gone free of a lot of things. My diet has gotten a lot more simple. The reason why is because I was having some digestive issues and I'm healing my gut. The process of going free from all of these things has been a pretty complex one. It's cost us a little more money. Now we're in a place where my diet is very simple and I really enjoy the simplicity of it. There are certain things that I want to be able to incorporate back into my diet once I feel better but I am more healthy now in terms of my diet than I think I've ever been before. I learned so much about digestion and what is a good diet through this process. I will say having a dietary restriction is actually more expensive if you're traveling, so planning ahead really helps that process out. Today for lunch, he's going to have tuna fish and avocado. My ears are like weird. Hello, check, check, check. <laughs> so we're gonna <laughs> Did you just do a mic check in Hi. your brain? Dan here. I think one really good thing about me having to shift my diet is that it has forced me to be very disciplined because I can't afford to not be disciplined. And when it comes to traveling, it's very easy to eat poorly. In this case, I had to get my snacks and my meals and everything sorted out before I ever left or else I'm not eating dinner. I actually don't know what I'm eating for dinner today. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Maybe I'll eat one of these formations. So when you're traveling, especially when you're flying somewhere, it's very easy to eat unhealthy. If you want to remedy that, just pretend you need to not eat gluten or dairy and you will naturally get rid of a lot of unhealthy things and you'll make your diet more intentional and good for you and you won't die as young. The other thing that we do is we try to think of all the gear that we need ahead of time. For example, right now it's freezing. For some reason, I'm not wearing gloves, but my favorite piece of gear are hand warmers. Dick's Sporting Goods always has great hatches. Did you get the warmers for the right phalanges? This is, this is for toes. No, these are for hands. I am still learning my body parts. James, ha! do you have any initial thoughts about time? What is time really, if you think about it? Time management. It is a, oh, time management. Well, it's a good idea to plan if you're going on a trip as if you do not have enough time to do what you have to do because if you don't plan that way, you won't have enough time to do what you have to do. It's lunchtime, we got a homemade salad and a homemade tuna cotto. Super good. We forgot to grab ice for our cooler, but as aforementioned, it's cold. I still don't have gloves on, but uh, yeah, we just got it in the shade, putting some cool air in there. We're gonna trap it in, put it in the car, and go on another adventure. I have James's sunglasses now because I left mine in the car while we were eating our lunch, but the reason that we stress about time so much is because we're not very good at it and it's not really like a budget travel hack but it's just a general travel hack just plan as if there's never enough time because honestly there's never enough time and when surprise things don't go as planned i.e you run out of time don't stress out about it i'm learning that doing a really good job on this trip this trip is such a chill trip really enjoying it but yeah time management So that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new around here, feel free to subscribe. If you like the video, like it. If you didn't, dislike it because you're allowed to do that. But we're going to film another video. Spoiler alert, our anniversary is sometime in the near future. I don't know what day it is, but we're gonna film that video and I'm stoked about it and I like James. High five, James.
High five. Au revoir.